In this video, we're going to animate the eyes and like other stuff on someone's like head or face from a manga character. And I'm also just gonna show you guys how to paint and such uh, in this video because I didn't really do that last time. If you haven't seen my last tutorial on how to animate manga, then I recommend watching that video after this one. Uh, but yeah, let's get started. So first you wanna go ahead and mask the eye, uh, the eyebrows, eyelashes, and stuff like that out before you actually want to start animating yeah so once you've kind of like mask all of that out like on his right as well you want to like kind of turn everything off uh go to this layer select this brush tool at the top double click on the layer and now you can go ahead and start painting hold h on your keyboard you can move around like this and if you like release it you can just paint with control and your like left mouse button you can make the size bigger smaller and with alt you can like get that drop tool and get the correct white if you go to brushes here on the right you got to make sure the hardness is on like full uh, you can just select one of these and then just make the diameter a bit bigger now then you want to select this color white and simply just paint and once you've kind of done that it will start looking like this so this is what we want of course and then we can go ahead and start uh, animating so you can kind of just remove that now i'm gonna um, animate these three parts right here so i've just only enabled those real quick so it's easier for us so for all of these i'm gonna press p and r to get the position and rotation so i'm gonna select everything like this and i'm gonna go to like one second i'm gonna drag these a bit down like this is fine and then for the eyebrows i'm just gonna so now you kind of have this that's just the movement and i'm gonna go ahead and select the first eyelashes go to the beginning and select the puppet tool like this press u or your keyboard to see every keyframe go to the first second and simply just drag them kind of down like this so now you have kind of like a realistic way your eyelashes would move when you uh, like close your eyes. So we're gonna do the same for this part. So I'm gonna go to this one. Once again, just place a couple of points like this. Go to that, press U or your keyboard and do the same thing like this. This should be fine. So now you have this going on for the brows. You can animate them with the puppet tool, but for the eyebrows, I know I just kind of like to leave them like that. Then I'm just gonna copy every beginning keyframe go to the end and like paste them so you have like a full like a loop now this is kind of the animation uh so then you want to select every uh keyframe like all of them press f9 on your keyboard open up the graph editor and, and make sure it's set on speed graph not value or else it will look like this i'm gonna go ahead and just select all of the keyframes 20 percent and then this one on like 60 and then this is kind of the animation which is quite nice and of course uh we now need to add the eye so you can either just change the mask on the eye or you can also just kind of move it a little for like some extra movement so so now i have a little bit of extra movement like this and i'm going to now keyframe the mask it has to close of course so i'm gonna press m on your on my keyboard and then keyframe the mask path to something like this and then you want to just you know do the same graph and then it'll look like this so you kind of have your first animation which looks pretty nice and you can do the same for the right eye i think i'm just going to skip that because the tutorial will take too long and it's just the same process you know i'm also going to do the animation i did on this left earring for the right one now this one is going to be a little bit harder not animation wise but if we mask this out there is like a lot of stuff behind it that we have to repaint so this is a good way to show you guys how you can actually do that now here is the right earring that i've masked out um i'm just going to disable that go to this layer again select the brush and double click on the layer now we're going to go with like black and just kind of just repaint this i'm just gonna like pick some different colors sort of match it 
Now, in order to match this better, then you can actually just uh, lower the hardness and make the brush a little bit like stronger. Um, so with this, you can have like a better sort of like transition between colors. So it may look a little bit better if you're like zoomed out. So that's just kind of nice. Yeah, this is decently repainted. And here we're going to go, uh, we're going to go ahead and change it back to like 100% the hardness. Like this, then we got to repaint like these lines. So this wasn't the hardest, but there can be like some really hard parts. So this is just kind of how I repaint stuff. Oh, actually, same goes for this. We got to repaint this here and then we're kind of done like this. This looks pretty nice to me. So now we can just place a couple of puppet points. So you want to point uh, one here over here, maybe at the bottom. Then you can press U or keyboard. Now, what I kind of like to do or something like this is go to the beginning and change the starting point already just change it to something like this maybe then go to like one second change it to this then copy these keyframes go to the last frame paste it in and now you have a nice loop and you of course you want to keyframe it and then you got this going on now it looks weird that this eye isn't moving but well, that doesn't really matter so now we have the hair left so i'm gonna do that now now you kind of just want to place like points like all over the hair like like this you see because we're going to animate that of course so now you want to just press u or keywords go to like one second and just start changing this a little so you can just drag this one like up now i kind of i kind of just like to you know do everything a bit randomly and as you start to notice with all these points if you start moving them like his his body will kind of just move with it so that's not really what you want so you can place like some more um like anchor points to sort of like lock his body in place so some here maybe as you can see the moving of his body already stopped but sometimes like over here his his ear is also kind of stretching out so if you don't want that you can place like a point in between there like that so now it's not really moving as much and yeah once you've kind of just done that i'm just going to copy and paste like every keyframe so now once again i'm just going to select everything change the graphs to the usual and as you can see you kind of have like a little animation of the hair which is pretty cool now in the end i just decided to finish everything and just change a couple things like make the hair a little bit faster and such um so this is kind of how you can animate like the face parts like in this case earrings and also the hair eyes uh, brows and stuff like that you know so i hope this video helped you out please leave a like and let me know in the comments if it works i'll see you next time have a good day